Today, we would like to introduce to you the latest addition to our VCU lineup aimed at custom high-performance EVs, classic and late model EV conversions as well. Some of you may already be familiar with some of our current VC200 and 300 products that have been out there powering some of the quickest and fastest record setting EVs in the world. So some of you guys might be asking, what's a VCU? Well, unlike traditional engine control and EFI where we have an engine and we need a control unit, i.e. an engine control unit, ECU, we're not necessarily controlling an engine with a VCU. Instead, we're controlling the entire vehicle. Everything from torque management of the drive systems, the cooling pumps, fans, and radiators, valves within the cooling system, the entire battery as well, um, keeping that balance, charging systems, literally everything. So this is why this is called a VCU and not an ECU. A lot of the conversions are doing what we like to call the alphabet soup, where you've got 10 different controllers doing 10 different things. One's controlling the motor, one's controlling the battery, one's controlling pumps. And it's kind of like the 90s days of tuning where you've had a, an air fuel controller, you had a timing controller, a boost controller, and maybe if all the stars lined up, the car was fast. But you know, just like what we did back in the, in the early 90s with the introduction of the Series 1 ECUs, we came in with the VCU product, changed the game again, and offered a full, true standalone product for EV controls. And just like our previous VC200 and 300 product, the new 275 allows calibrators to create customized torque management strategies that maximize performance, as well as other strategies for thermal management, battery management, charge control, and much more, all done through a full-featured, modern, and intuitive tuning software, AEM Cal. The VCU275 offers all the same great features of the previous VC200, but now with some improvements like better hardware processing power, it offers the same OEM level of hardware reliability, and now supports up to two motors instead of just one with the VC200, and up to 1200 volt systems when paired with the AEM BMS18 system compared to just 450 volts on the old VC200 product. We still support all the same great motor options out there, like the Tesla large drive units, the sport and the base versions, and now we also support the small drive units, both front and rear, as well as other third-party aftermarket motors like Cascadia Motors, Dana, Zonic, and more. There's still gonna be more to come. If you wanna learn more about the VC275 as well as other EV conversion products, check out our website and our social media pages.